Hi there, my name is Frankie Rodriguez. I'm a graduate intern at the Center for Health and Counseling Services and an alumna of Lewis University. Thank you so much for tuning in this week to Feel Better with Frankie. Today we will be discussing grief, how it relates to COVID-19, and tips on how to manage these feelings. Grief is most commonly associated with death, and death certainly is a tremendous loss. However, grief is actually a powerful, sometimes painful response to loss of any kind. This COVID-19 crisis that we're living through has us experience all types of losses. It's causing us to experience the loss of normalcy, loss of routines, social connections, possibly changes in employment, and loss of financial security, all extremely significant. Experiencing grief is completely unique to each individual. We all express grief in different ways and go through grief stages in our own time. Even the emotions that we're feeling during these trying times can vary from person to person. Some of you may be feeling impossible sadness, anger, loss of control or denial. If you find yourself today identifying with these emotions, it's okay. None of the feelings that you are experiencing are unreasonable during this difficult time. The sooner we are able to validate these feelings, the more we are able to understand and to begin to work through and accept them over time. Now let's start with very basic needs. In order to work through grief, we must first satisfy needs such as food, water, shelter, safety, and even rest. Now I know these may seem obvious, but in the midst of crisis, they are the first that tend to be neglected. A helpful tool to overcoming grief is by putting words to losses through journaling. Many of us have not experienced loss to this extent, but we have all encountered challenging adjustments, whether that's having a baby, switching jobs or schools, relocating or divorce, we have found ways to adjust to change. Reflecting and writing these experiences through journaling can bring to mind the strength and coping skills you already have to endure the circumstances that you're living through. You are resilient. If journaling isn't for you, that's okay. During this time, it's important to maintain social supports even when it's difficult to do so. Understanding that this can be a problem since we are adhering to physical distancing, using online social networks can bring connection to those that we love. Human connection helps increase our overall well being. Connecting with others will remind us of the social roles that contribute to our true identities. Most importantly, understand that you are not alone. Grief is especially difficult when it's unexpected, but it is a natural part of life. Feeling grief means that we value and care about someone or an experience that we are missing, and that is what we should intentionally focus on and honor. Thank you for tuning into this week, and in the meantime, take care, stay well, and stay tuned.